Righto, Teleota champs, and I'm gaming. Yes, I've got my gaming controller connected to this Intel Nook Extreme 13 Wharf. This thing is an absolute beast here. 13900K and an RTX 3080 Ti. And a 3080 Ti is absolutely perfect because you go any more than that on like the 30 series graphics cards, you're not really getting that much more, even if you go to 3090 or whatever. 3080 Ti is like the perfect peak of sort of performance there. So the deal is here, this is a small form factor PC and on the top left hand corner, you can see the telemetry. Now what we want is to have maximum performance. Someone's called Centrelink, only Aussies would know what that means. But what we want is maximum gaming performance. So maximum big PC gaming performance in this tiny form factor. That's what we want. So we'll just see where these guys are dropping and we'll keep an eye on those clocks. And I'll tell you if you're getting the absolute maximum performance. So, because benchmarks really don't mean that much because when we're talking about benchmarks and this thing, it depends on what one you get, what CPU you get, what GPU you get. But what we want to see here is with a 3080 Ti and an i9 3900K, are we getting maximum performance? Oh, my team's jumped out of this. So what you want to see is 5.5 on the clock, okay? So 5.5 gigahertz on the CPU and around 1800 on the GPU. That will tell you if we're getting full maximum speed. So where is my team? I'll just go around here. And as you can see, that is right on the button there. Oh, they're miles away. So we're getting 5.5 on the CPU and they're only at 70 degrees. This is maximum performance. That uh, 3900K, will only do 5.5 all core. So this is 100% of the CPU performance you would get in a big form factor PC. And we're only doing it at 69 degrees, 70 degrees there. And the GPU doing 1800, that's what you'd expect with a 3080 Ti to be doing around that 800 megahertz. So we get an absolutely 100% of the performance you would get in a normal big PC here. So. We'll just see how this goes. I will say it's a hot day today. So it's around 32 degrees uh, outside. Inside here, it's about 26, I would say. I had a guess. I'll just check, hold on. I lied, it's around 25 at the moment. But um, yeah, so that's about 90 degrees outside and inside, whatever, 25, whatever's room temperature, 25 is about room temperature. So you can see here, we're getting the maximum performance. This is at 4K. Okay, 4K equivalent of ultra, I'll oh, say high settings, I would say. Now, oh, was that someone's there? Oh, yes, yes. Oh, no, his friends are coming. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. Uh, yeah, so I want to tell you about fan noise. Okay, I've got it in performance mode. Now, you cannot uh, overclock this thing. You cannot undervolt it either, which is a bit disappointing being it's a 3900K. I would like to at least undervolt it. You're not going to overclock something, you know, a small form factor like this. Uh, but I would love to undervolt it to run it cooler, but turns out you don't need to. In its performance mode, it's around 52 decibels right next to the unit, okay? So you can actually hear it, but not too bad. Now, from where I sit, it's around 48 decibels. So, from where you sit, 48 decibels is pretty good under full load. This is in performance mode, mind you. Uh, that's pretty good if you ask me. Now I've got a controller. I'm not used to using a controller, but I heard it's good for prison, but not for old me. Oh, what's he doing? Drop shots. Come on. Oh, that was terrible. But anyway. 48 decibels from where you sit under full maximum load, that's pretty good. Now, if you put it in just normal standard mode, how it comes out of the box, it's around sort of like 44 decibels, 45 decibels from where you sit. So really good. And even right next to it, under full performance mode, you're getting up to 52 decibels. That's not too bad in a small form factor like this. So this is the dream, right? To have a small PC, but maximum performance. There is no compromise here. We're doing 5.5 gigahertz. We're doing 1800. We got saved there. So that's awesome. Thank you for bringing me back. So as you can see here, absolutely maximum performance there. We're getting 1800 on the GPU and 5.5 gig oh, gigahertz on the, oh, got the buttons mixed up. I do not know controllers. Someone, Centrelink, come and save me. Centrelink, come on. You're not doing nothing. You're not working. You're at Centrelink. 
Come on, save me. But getting back to the performance there, 100% performance, 5.5 gigahertz on the CPU and 1800. And look at the temperatures, 1800 on the GPU. So that's 100% performance. And the temperatures, right? Absolutely nuts. In a small form factor like this, on a warmish day, 70 degrees CPU, 65 degrees GPU. And I can tell you now, my 13900KS, when I have it overclocked a bit, it gets hot, these things get hot. So it's doing a good job cooling this thing. And it's the dream, right? It's the dream to have this small form factor and to have full performance. And the thing is, you can build these things, but forget about it. The headache of building a small form factor, I've built a lot of PCs. I hate building small form factor PCs because um, there's a lot of research you have to do into it. And if something goes wrong, it's a pain and it's just so cramped and tight in there. And yeah, it looks good once the finished result is done. But here, you can buy it off the shelf. Small form factor. You can take this thing around with you anywhere. It looks good. It's got all the ports you want. It's got all the performance you want there. Maximum performance for gaming, as you can see. We're going to have a look if it actually throttles in a sec. So let's do that now. Might as well get out. So as you can see there, a clean bill of health. There is no throttling whatsoever. And what was the maximum temperature? Let's have a look. Maximum temperature was 81 degrees on the CPU. In a small form factor like that, that is just wow, amazing. So maximum full performance. I'll give you a quick look at the BIOS and where I can say you can't really unlock things because look, this is an unlocked CPU, but I can't, you know, undervolt it or overclock it. You won't want to overclock it, but I'd love to undervolt it. So have a quick look at the BIOS. So as you can see here, you got, you know, your normal configuration stuff here. It says uh, baseboard descriptor unlocked. Well, nothing is unlocked um it's saying the temperatures here and you can set you know fan curves and all this sort of stuff if i go to performance it's just telling me the performance of the cpu memory etc um security I mean, we know that is power and i put this in full performance mode so i went to max performance mode so i checked this but it doesn't have any you know scope for undervolting or anything like that overclocking so that's the only thing i can see there maybe you can get a bias revision uh, in the future that you can undervolt it maybe or overclock it i don't think you want to overclock it anyway i mean it's nice and cool in there but i just thought i'd show you the bias anyway so yeah, this thing is the dream, right? Small form factor, full performance, nothing compromised here. There is no compromise. You're getting the full fat performance. So you want to pick one of these up. It's not that loud. It performs maximum performance. You know, it's less headache. It's a turnkey solution. These things are really amazing. And yeah, catch you in the next one, guys. Telly ho.